8 plus 8, John apparently emptied out the couple's joint bank account. We talked with Kate Gosselin exclusively earlier this morning, and she agreed to join us again. Kate, welcome back. Hi, thank you. When we, when we uh, ended our conversation earlier this morning, we were talking about uh, whether it is time for the show to come to an end. Obviously, John believes it is. Do you agree? I don't agree, actually, because, um, first of all, it's something that the kids and I are still enjoying. Um, you know, the opportunities that they've been provided, I don't say that lightly. It's, you know, we were supposed to be in New York now um, on a trip uh, to see the Statue of Liberty, and the kids are having trouble understanding why they're not here and why they can't be here doing but it's, that. But it's come at such a cost to this family. Um, you know, and I'm still saying that it is our our my job um, they're not working, they're playing, they run to and fro, but it's my way of working and being present with my kids. Um, it's paying my bills, it's providing us opportunities that we wouldn't otherwise have. And so, no, I don't feel like it's time to end it. Um, if we are all enjoying it, I just feel like um, Kate plus eight going on, the nine of us who want to continue it, um, should be able to do it. But if John makes this decision, and right now he's saying he wants all filming to stop, and it has stopped for the moment, TLC has postponed all filming, can he effectively close down this show if he wants to? He can. Um, he can do it because TLC has always said if one of us didn't uh, want it to happen anymore, and obviously they're not going to stand in the way. John is a parent. Um, he does have that right to say that, but I wish he would think um, harder about it because it, it has ended our income um, and our paychecks and our opportunities, and uh, it's a situation where you know, we're still enjoying it, like I said, and it still needs to go forward because it's what we are doing and it's what we're enjoying. I, I don't know what else to say except that if there was ever a time that I felt strongly that it was harming the kids, and to be honest, he does not feel that way, I am quite certain. It's, it's a situation where he's in a game, and this isn't a game. This is our life. This isn't a popularity contest. It's our lives and it's our decisions. When I'm making decisions for the kids, I put away all of the, you know, the celebrity of it, the what we've become. I'm still a mother, and my first goal is to make the best decisions for my kids. If all of this fell away tomorrow, you know, and and I have to move forward. I'm still with what is left. I still have to make the best decisions although for them. He, yeah, although Kate, he is saying he's making the best decisions, and right now the best decision for this family, given the divorce proceedings, is to get off the air. And he says that you're the one who's claiming. Well, you know, it's financially um, lucrative for us, so we should stay doing it. Well, the thing is, if if he truly believed that, first of all, by renaming the show Kate Plus Eight, you wouldn't be seeing the divorce proceedings because they're not there anymore. Um, it's the kids and I and how we're coping. There are many moms out there who have reached out to me. I've never felt um, love before, like I feel now, of moms who are in my position. None of us thought we'd end up here, but um, they're saying it's really difficult to be a single mom, and the whole gamut changes. So it's, it's a hard place to be, and as long as I'm saying you know it's a healthy thing, it's okay, it, it needs to go forward. I have eight of the most well-adjusted, healthy, happy children that ever were. Yeah, I want to ask you how they're doing, particularly your oldest children, who are Kara and Maddie, who are turning nine this week and, and can't be possible. You said nine going on 19. Mm -hmm. They can't be oblivious to all this. They're not. You know, they're, um, they're asking questions. And um, again, I'm not um, just saying it. I am... When they ask questions, I provide them answers, the facts. I have never um, said anything derogatory about their father. He is still their father. He will always be their father. And I feel like one of the best things I can do for them is when they ask questions, I provide facts. I'm allowing them to draw conclusions however they will. Um, we've done a lot of talking. Uh, we've definitely done, we, we have our little, we call them powwows at night. And the girls and I sit and anything they need to ask me or want to talk about, we do. Um, Furthermore, um, I just do need to say that um, financially, yeah, the, are kids, they protected? the kids are protected. They have um, the fund that I set up for them uh, because that was my long-term goal was if we did this show, I wanted their future to be protected. And it is secure and substantial, and it is present, and it is there, and it is safe. So it has nothing to do with that joint account where John nothing. reportedly kids, took out thousands no. of dollars? Um, okay. I, I had the presence of mind um, to start that on my own and to put it together because... It's my goal, and 
that's what I wanted for them was their future to be secure. Last week TLC announced that it was also considering uh, developing a show for you in particular, I assume minus the kids. Correct. Is that a, a real possibility? Can you tell us anything about that show and what, what's the possibility of that possibly replacing uh, Kate Plus Eight? I can tell you that it is true. It's a project I'm very excited about. It's uh, not completely sketched out. Um, and figured out at this point, but it is in the works. I'm very excited. It is minus the kids, uh, and, and there's no word yet as to whether it will replace or go alongside of Kate Plus 8. It's still, you know, obviously we're in very uncharted territory here, and, and we're still working on it, but I'm very excited. Uh, looking forward to that and um, you know I'm just glad for the opportunity because I've, I've learned that I enjoy this and again it's it's a way to, that I can solely provide for the kids. Where, Kate, where are you and John in the divorce proceedings? Uh, you know he last week uh, said that he wanted to postpone those proceedings for 90 days. He wanted the two of you to mediate, wanted you to become friends essentially. Not get back together but become friends. Where are you in the process? Uh, well first of all there I do not believe there will be any 90 day um, um, you know, stalling of this um, process. I'm not uh, sure where that came from because all along I've reached out and tried to communicate um, up to 20 phone calls, I said it earlier, a day. And um, so I don't feel like we need to stop the divorce proceedings in order to, you know, uh, learn to communicate. Um, I've reached out to him. I am strangely able to put aside all of the anger and the hurt um, when I do talk to him and, um, and picture the old John, it really just helps me to be able to, when he's present, when I'm talking to him on the phone, when I have that chance or when we're texting, um, because I want peace so badly, I literally stop myself and picture the old John so that I can um, respond um, better and um, more appropriate. And the last time that you spoke with him or texted him? Uh, was this past Sunday. Uh, he actually um, called and asked if I could come home early. Um, from uh, we had scheduled five o'clock he wanted me home at noon uh, which I was a few hours away so it was impossible and um, so that wasn't a real peaceful conversation but prior to that uh, he had called me and asked me to change custody um, and that was actually we, we redid our custody which um, tends to be peaceful uh, when we approve it month by month and so I have been in you know it hasn't been three and a half weeks since I talked to him it has indeed been two times in the last week and a half so um, you know, every time he calls, I dive on the phone and answer it because I don't want to be unavailable to him because any conversation we had has involved the kids. So I know that it's, again, it's, it's that goal of peace. When I talk to him and resolve things, um, it helps. Yeah, so. Peace seems pretty far away, though, at this point. You know, peace is really far away. And um, I just have to say again, um, I never wanted to be sitting here discussing details, but I think in the end, actions speak louder than words. And come what may more is going to be said I'm sure in this back and forth I hate it but I know that my actions are um, solely uh, for the kids to better the kids and I know that I have a lot of peace about this because I know in the end my actions are appropriate well thought out and um, with the kids best interest in mind and you know I don't have to answer to the world right. I have to answer to my kids right. thank you Kate very, thank much. You very much do you, are you wearing the ring still or not um, it's a different, it's a, a, my Hawaii wedding ring. I'm, I'm changing them out. I'm switching them out now just to give the kids a little bit of, we've discussed a ring that I might buy. It's um, at some point it has eight little diamonds and mother of pearl. So it's symbolic and the kids are happy about that. So you're working replace. your way away from right. moving right. that way. All right, Kate, thank you so much thank you. for sticking around. We appreciate Thanks. it. And up next, in